Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel and welcome to episode 2 of my State of Decay Let's Play. Now when we left off, we had just completed what I would like to call the perfect prologue. I taught you guys everything that you needed to know about leveling up in the prologue, about claiming weapons for your own, getting larger backpacks, heavy weapon specializations, skill specializations, and plus look at that, we made Marcus into an absolute beast. So, now, we now have a scavenger mission to do. We also have the main storyline mission to do. We have two infestations, and I promised that I would teach you guys all about the camp layout and the map and everything else as well. So I'll press up on the D-pad and scroll across to the map. You will see here we've, we can do a uh, number of things. The pastor's quarters provides eight beds. That means we can successfully keep eight survivors in the camp without people getting tired. We also can cook a big meal, which improves uh, vitality, costs food though. Medical area, Incre improves vitality, and that will be, uh, I believe that be yeah, ongoing if we upgrade to the infirmary. But we need we require materials. I am not going to spend any materials at all while I'm in the church, because we're not going to be in the church very long. Also, you can see these blank spaces here. One's outdoors. Actually, they're both outdoors. The outdoor spaces, you can build gardens and such like that. And indoor space, you can build a library, but we do not have any space. You can upgrade this to a shooting platform which increases um, the radius, your safe zone radius, more on that later. You can also sometimes rent this out as well to other camps, your neighbour camps, and gain ammunition for doing so. What we want to talk about right now is the radio. Also outposts at the bottom guys, more on outposts later. The radio, we want to offer shelter to new survivors, but we can't just yet. You can also ask about material caches, fuel caches, ammo caches, Medicine caches and food caches. All these things gain new materials once Lady finds them. But first, we want to deposit all of Maya's inventory. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to get rid of her gun, her weapons. We want to keep, uh, get rid of all these. This is what I talked about in the prologue, guys. This gives you a lot more influence. As you can see, we now have 194 influence. We want to immediately switch to Marcus as he is our unstoppable beast. There's poor Ed taking a rest. And Alan wants a race, apparently. So now we have 194 influence, which is grand. We also want to start depositing some of Marcus's crap as well. We want to keep the pills and snacks. Uh, we want to get rid of the ammunition. Uh, let's get rid of the squirrel. I'm not going to use that just yet. Let's get rid of that snack. 273. And we still don't have any heavy weapons, but we're going to keep the machete equipped for now. So we're going to go back into the camp layout, and now we want to search for new survivors, offer shelter to survivors takes 20 minutes game time, uh, real life time guys, and it also costs 100 influence. Now if this is successful, we will contact a new group of survivors, and then we can go out and complete their mission, rescue them and bring them home to the camp. You immediately gain control of a new survivor straight away, which is exactly what we want. Also, the scavenger missions, this one here, is usually neighbour missions. Neighbour missions allow us to contact neighbour camps. Neighbour camps, if we keep completing missions for them, will eventually join our camp. The, there will usually be one neighbour that will join your camp. So we're going to go ahead and do this mission first. Just let's prioritise it basically, it's local. And also we may, may meet some new neighbours. They may even join us straight away, we don't know yet. So they're in this little... No, they're not, I think, I believe they're in the uh, house next door. We shall check, let's check. No, they, they are in the house next door. I'm not going to get out here. And we also have the uh, main storyline mission right next to us. So let's complete this first, let's rescue these guys. See if we've got anyone good in here. Oh crap, where the hell did you come from, bro? Eat my machete! Has anyone seen Machete? That's an uh, epic film. Grant. Hello there, good sir. Right, so if we press let's go, then we make friends with this neighbour camp. If we press get out of here, now this stuff is mine. We don't make friends with the neighbour camp. So let's let help him gather this stuff up. And we might as well have a cheeky look around as well. Anything good? Nope, just an alarm clock. Progress blocked by what? We got any zombies in the area? We must have. We have quite a few zombies in the area. Eat machete! So we want to fight as much as possible once again, but we're still looking for a good heavy weapon, guys. And there should be one soon. I never usually go very long without getting a heavy weapon, so let's hope we find one fairly quick smart, because uh, the sooner we get one, the sooner Marcus becomes even more of a freaking beast. 
Our progress is still blocked, so that means someone's trying to come in from the back door or something, I think. Another snack, you can never have too much. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Just occurred to me when that popped up. Uh, well, there goes his arm. Searching houses improves your wits, guys. Now, this unlocks very more special abilities. We've got a table leg, disaster preparedness, a kit. Uh, let's just break that open so we can get medicine. Can never have too much medicine. Our progress is still blocked. Anything good in here? Energy drink, we'll keep that. It always come in handy. Why is the progress still freaking blocked? Where the hell are all these Zeds in the first place? So once that bar is full, guys, that guy will ask us to take him home. So we will, we'll take him home and uh, we'll meet our new group of survivors. Our neighbor camp. We'll keep doing missions for them. Uh, what we want to do is radio home, press Y. It's not letting us radio home. So that's probably because there's zombies in the area. If we radio home, then Maya Torres or another survivor will come in and collect those hobbyist materials and take the construction materials home, which is what we want as well. First, we need to clear this damn area of zombies. I couldn't find any, so where the hell are they? There's one. Oh no, he's just standing there. Just chilling, bruh. We want to finish this guy off. House clear. Okay, all quiet here. That's There we go, that's better. Right, so now we should be able to... Uh, Steal these materials from under this bro's nose. Bro's nose, that's cool. Don't let them get- Oh, son of a bitch, are you kidding me? Right. Shit just got serious. And then he evades my attacks anyway. Okay. Die! So we, we are going to carry on with the storyline as well, guys. But first things first, you always want to make friends with new survivors because you never know, you may just unlock someone with a great skill such as uh, Powerhouse or Nimble. These are the survivors that you want to take home. Because these are the survivors that are going to be damn useful. Also, you can gain expert survivors such as Construction Expert, uh, Medical Expert, Gardening Expert. The expert survivors are the ones that you want to look out for because they allow you to fully upgrade your eventual things such as uh, your garden, your medical, infirmary, things things such as that guys. Level 5 powerhouse already, do we, do we unlock anything? We do not. It, it doesn't matter. This is taking forever. Jeez, you better be freaking worth it bro. If your camp is full of idiots. Right, can I check this now? Yeah. Nope. Is this a bug? Nope. Right. Now I'm going to load that up. Because it's not letting me use my radio just yet for some reason. And this is taking forever. I'm getting a little bit pissed right now. Because that guy, I know he's a sleaze and uh, he's not a very good survivor anyway. His character model's pretty lame. Plus I think I've just stole the materials. My machete's broke. Right, now hurry up for Frick's sake. Clear off the oh, ah, rage. <laughs> right, we're going to clear this off as much as possible without a weapon, apparently. Now would be a great time to find a new weapon. Just saying. Just saying. Right, let's finish this bitch off anyway. This guy is taking the serious piss. I'm about to abandon him. That this is taking way longer than it should. I want to get the storyline progressed as well. I only wanted to teach you about neighbours, guys, because it is very useful to recruit your neighbours. But not not many take this freaking long. Right. So now we're gathering him once again. You can piss off. Fuck you, Grant. Oh, me doing my job, bro. You're the one that's taking for fucking ever. For what? I've robbed your materials. You're not going to get anything. Right, gather faster, you son of a bitch. I'm stealing your snacks, bro. Oh, zombie! Right, now gather faster. I'm literally about to abandon him and kill his camp forever. What is he using? It's don't fucking barricade. Maybe it's because we're next to an infestation. Either way, something I should have commented on. 
is we've just picked up some construction supplies. Construction supplies are building materials and where I want to move to early on in the game guys, uh, you require quite a bit of construction material so gather the construction materials as and when possible. Yep, that's where I'm wondering, Grant. About to abandon you, bro. Just saying. Right, there may be a weapon in here that I can use. My advantage. We shall see. Right, this always has like liquor in it and stuff. Liqueur! Whiskey and things that you can use as a weapon. Breakfast foods? I have no weapon, bro. Right, I think my game may be bugged because his progress just isn't increasing at all. Oh man. Anyone else suffering from a severe, stupid and damn fucking annoying amount of glitches since title update 2 or just me? Just me? No? Right. Grant, what the hell are you doing? I am defending the perimeter. Right. Grant, gather faster. Ah, right. So it's because I picked up the goddamn rucksack. Note to you guys that this has never happened to me before. I always used to do this trick, so they must have patched it since title update 1. Note to you guys, do not pick up the rucksack. Because it will halt your progress. Right, thank you. So now I can pick up the rucksack. So yeah, you guys just learned a mistake that I'm just learning as well. So I'm getting Grant, we're going to take him home. So yes, now back onto track guys. This is a neighbour mission. You help the neighbour scavenge, you take the neighbour home and they give you some supplies and you also make friends. However, since the last update it's clearly been patched, if you take out the rucksack, the gather progress will not go up. So you have to drop the rucksack and then pick up the rucksack again so you can gain double the supplies. One of those things I suppose guys. Still, now we know, now I know, now you guys know too. Now our car's glitched. And here's me thinking it was a glitch. No, it, I suppose it kind of is a glitch. I mean, it's not telling you that it wouldn't hurt him to just say, you know. Right. There's our survivors here. Who are you? That guy with the cowboy hat is always called Rassel. He's a pretty damn good survivor as well, guys. Now, he's a construction expert and a chef. Um, hopefully we get the chance to recruit him. Maybe not though. But again. Ah crap, we just lost construction supplies. Give me that supply locker. Have we got anything good in here? Just snacks. I need a freaking weapon more than anything. Right. Now back on track. Let's go ahead and do the storyline mission. So we've got a rucksack of medicine there. Which we cannot get just yet because of our construction supplies which are more important. Nice bit of storyline here from Lily. Nothing. Son of a bitch. Right. Screw this guys, we're getting back on track with the storyline and we shall the hell? Shall lay, lay the foundations for the rest of the game right now. The rest of the game for the, for the for the beginning of the game. I'll also show you guys a, a great place to get some like construction supplies and such. So yeah. Right here is where we want to be. This is the lay the land mission, I believe. We can scope things out in advance surveying. Now the, the best way to speed up this mission, climb the cell tower and you can hold the left bumper to climb quicker. You don't have to worry about this depleting your stamina because um, you get a lengthy break when you're scouting the area so don't worry guys. Can't believe that scavenger mission 
glitched on me. But now you guys know how to avoid it, and now I know how to avoid it too. Maybe I should submit this as a bug report or something. So I'm going to look for a medical facility. The medical facility is right there. There's the vet clinic. These are all things, if you fully explore all these, you will get um, a bit of influence for the day. But I like to just explore anyway. The, this area, we're going to leave pretty soon. Should get some new survivors now too, I believe. Yep. Lillian. What a beautiful name. Lillian and Lily. So the friendly survivors that we've just uh, recruited, this, for, for what it's worth guys, if you guys are new to this game, this mission will always spawn you, the beginning of the game will always spawn you new survivors at the very beginning of the game. It will give you three survivors straight away, uh, which is good because three survivors joining your camp, well it's three survivors joining your camp. We just gotta hope that we actually get some good survivors with nimble powerhouse, I don't know, construction experts, fitness experts. This sort of thing, you want the experts, you don't want stragglers that are alcoholics with bum knees, limited cardio, that sort of thing. You want good survivors. So let's see these people here. I don't think we've got anyone good. Yep, you've got to join us anyway, just because. But as far as I can tell, none of these have any special abilities. Which is a shame. Also, I believe this to be a potential home site or next to it somewhere maybe I don't know we'll see in a while I still have no weapon but the gate is my weapon only when I'm on the right side of it though of course actually apparently not so we're just gonna dodge our way using the B button into the car we've got a construction site there that usually has construction materials I'm gonna use the car as our weapon right now just because we do not have an actual weapon Plus it's fun. Now we're going to get back in. Clear the area. Come on Zeds, where are you? Oh, we've already done. Fine. Hurry up, gather. I'm going to wait in the car. Then we're going to drive these survivors home. Then we're going to go ahead and do the vets mission, which is pretty quick. It's a pretty swift mission. We're going to rush the storyline missions as quick as fast as possible, guys, because we want to move home as quick as possible. Right, so that mission's done. Now everyone needs to get in the car. Except for you guys. You you don't allow you're not allowed in my car. Get in. Also if you press the A button. We got sirens. That's always fun. Get in the car, you son of a bitch. Get in the car. Oh my god, get in the car. Thank you. Well, that didn't take forever. I wish they'd have fixed that in title update too. Sometimes you can go like a minute or so without them even getting in the car. They just stand there and look at it. Ah, NPC. Artificial intelligence. Go away. Right, so we're going to drive these bros home and see if we've got anyone good. We've also got a construction rucksack that we want to take home for some extra construction materials, I suppose. Thank you, Carolina. Also, another beautiful name. So we've got Lillian and Carolina, two beautiful names. And then we've got Omar. Not so much. Right. Okay, done. Now let's see who we got nice. Uh, right, oh yeah, Lily Ritter. We cannot control her. I don't believe we can control these guys either. Carolina Archer, she's nimble. Yes, we've got a nimble survivor. Excellent. We also got Jacob Ritter, he's a powerhouse who we want to play as. Sam Hoffman is also nimble. Maya Torres, not so much. This guy's a chef. And this guy drank a lot, slack a student. We kill her, basically, guys. She's a terrible survivor. We've also got too many nimble survivors, so not all of them are going to survive. I'm going to get rid of a few of them because I don't like huge camps. Right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead. Oh shit, I forgot a weapon. So I want a weapon. Let's take let's take the wrench. It's blunt, but it's powerful in the durability department. And hopefully we need to find a goddamn actual heavy weapon at some point. Cause this is taking the piss. First things first. Storyline mission we want done. 
Now our police car's pretty much totaled, so I'm just gonna drive up. In this. We shall abandon this. Also infestations we shall deal with in episode three. Storyline first, everything else later. The sooner you do the storyline, the quicker you can move house. And I want to move house as quickly as possible, guys. Just because. So, abandon ship. And here we are. About time you showed up. Let's get the show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a plus in the window. <laughs> well, we got two bad mouth sons of bitches. Although Alan is pretty badass the way he talks and such, so I wish we could control Alan. But like I said in the last episode, guys, I've never actually been able to control Alan Gunderson. So you guys, let me know if you can, if you ever had have. Let me know. Again, we're gonna forage for some pills here. The more medicine we get, the better. So we can even call for scavengers here, which we're gonna do. If you press uh, the Y button, then scavengers will come inbound and scavengers will uh, come in and collect the rucksack for you. Great, great tip guys, I can't recommend doing it enough. So we've foraged all the pills we can, now we just need to hold off the area. Yes, get some cheeky levels, why not? However, I still want a freaking heavy weapon. They seem to be so elusive in this playthrough, but again, this is the first playthrough I've done since Title Update 2, so maybe they uh, spawn less frequently now. I don't know, maybe I'm just unlucky right now. I haven't explored any construction sites yet, so, and that's usually where I find them. So uh, we're just guarding the perimeter, let's just hurry up and let them do what they've got to do, then we'll get the hell out of here and progress the storyline. As I said, guys, these survivors that we've just got, we've got a few. We've got a Nimble, we've got a Chef, and we've got a one that's just terrible. She isn't going to last. Right, now we've got to run back. And there is my cop car. Basically, guys, I'm showing you the fastest way to do this. You want to run here. Basically, at the end of this mission, you will need a car to get Sam home. Also, I think we should be due our survivors any time now. 11 seconds, that was pretty good timing. To check that. So we want to just sprint all the way here. Let's use an energy drink on Marcus to uh, sort, out, sort out his uh, little issues with his stamina because he's tired. This is where you want to run to because a mission will ping around now. Now? There we go. And it will tell you to go and get a car. If you go this way, there's already a car waiting for you. So this is the best way to do this mission. I'll go find a already got a ride. <laughs> Lily needs the men's, what's that all about? So I can just crash into Alan apparently. Alright, get in the car Sam. And there on the map you can see uh, one of our survivors on a food, on a medical supply run. That's Carolina. Right, so now Sam's in the car, we've got to drive Sam home to complete this mission. Little things! Zombie hordes. Right, so now we've got our... We've got plenty of stuff to uh, drop in the supply locker. We have a, hopefully, a survivor mission pinging any time now. Did we find anything? So I'm going to search for more survivors once again, just in case. Um, I'll see if we did find anything. Um, it should ping at the end of this mission. It won't ping while we're on a mission, so we'll see. We got to the the boss of my hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for A. So I'm going to deposit everything while this little storyline information is going on. So the next mission is finding the doctor. Caroline has just arrived. And he's li has Libby found anything or not? Apparently not. A ping would be nice. Oh, there we go. 
Stranger in Trouble. So th those are our new group of survivors that we're going to bring home. But first guys, we are going to check the time and it seems as though... Yep, we're at 25 minutes so that's it for this episode. So we're going to rescue these survivors and then I'm going to teach you a few new things in episode 3 to do with our survivors and our camp and building and all these other things that you guys need to know. And hopefully we'll find a goddamn heavy weapon for Marcus. So yeah, we're just waiting on the next storyline mission, guys. We're going to do this Stranger in Trouble mission, get some more survivors. We're going to wait for some more survivors too. And yeah, lots of things going on in episode 3. So in this episode, guys, let's do a quick recap. We've learned of a glitch involving the uh, Stranger missions, the Scavenger missions, sorry. Where if you take the rucksack, the mission will freeze until you put the rucksack down. Which is damn annoying, but now we know. Now you guys know too, more importantly. Uh, we've leveled up, we've done the vet mission, we've scavenged some, med med uh, some medications. I've taught you how to radio in scavengers to go and get supplies. So you don't always have to do all the rucksack carrying and hauling and such. And yeah, we've laid the foundations for episode 3. So, until next time my friends, Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming Channel, saying goodbye.